Hello everybody, this is Karma Kill the Cat, and I'm going to be starting a Lua programming tutorial. What we're going to do first in this tutorial is download and install Lua. So you just need to Google search Lua, and then click on this option. It should be the first one. And this will take us to the Lua website. And so once you're here, just click on the download link, and read through this. And if you have Mac or Linux, uh, click on detailed instructions here and it'll tell you how to download and install it. It's a lot different than on Windows. But if you have Windows, just go into binaries, click Lua for Windows, and it'll take you here. So this is a list of all the different libraries we get from Lua for Windows. We don't have to worry about those. And now under the download section, click the Google Code link, and then just hit the download button. Uh, it'll download. It shouldn't take too long. But after that, you have to install it. I can't show you this because it'll mess up my recording, but it should you should be able to figure it out on your own. Just hit next for all the options and in the terms and conditions, just click I agree and that should be all. And I'm going to come back and the program we'll be using to write and run our Lua code. So once Lua is finished installing, you should see a new program on your desktop called Skype. So open that and you'll come to this screen and this is the program we'll be using to write and run our code. So first you'll have to save the file as a Lua file. So to do that go to File, Save As, and go to wherever you want to save it, just Documents, and then type in whatever you want to call the file, .lua. The .lua is important, you won't be able to run the code if you don't have .lua. So then hit Save, it says that, replace it, and now to test at this out to make sure it works, we're just going to make a simple program that outputs text to the screen. So you're going to do io.write, open parentheses, open quotes, and then type in any text you want here, close parentheses, or close quotes, and then close parentheses. So now you hit the run button, and you should see right here, it, this is the same text you have in here. And another way to do this, instead of io.write, you can do print, and then open and close parentheses and quotes, and the text in there, and now you should see it shows up twice. So that's all for this tutorial, and the next tutorial will be going over variables, and see you next time.